What is up guys, today is Saturday, January 21st, I'm sorry, 31st, of 2015. <clears throat> sorry, excuse any uh, coughing, I'm uh, starting to get a sore throat tonight, starting to get sick, so yay. Um, but I do have some good news here. Um, so this will be floor system test 25, all set up and ready to go. The, the capacitor replacement on my, my, my new MS2 was a success. <clears throat> um... As you guys will recall, a few weeks ago, just after I took 4004 test 24, my Simplex 4004 burned up somehow, and um, I had to buy a, a new panel. So I found this panel for $75. The only problem with it when I got it was um, a capacitor that on the board, um, someone bent it and it like snapped the solder connection, but. Um, so I got some new capacitors in the mail this afternoon, and uh, I wanted to show you guys. Got that brand new capacitor soldered in. It's uh, nice and strong on the board, so that's good. Got a, It's got a brand new capacitor. Um, it's got all, all, all the resistors in, in place on the NACs and the zones. Um, got my battery power coming in from the same batteries. AC power from the wall as per usual, um, no troubles. So, um, yeah, <clears throat> excuse me, um, to be honest, firelight panels, I do not like them very much, to, to be honest, um, I, I, I mean, some of them are nice, but to me, um, they're definitely not my favorite, mainly because they put out full wave rectified power compared to other panels and simplex panels, which put out filter DC um, so, this panel does put out FWR, so I, I can only operate so many devices. For example, I cannot operate, um, my true alerts, I cannot operate those because it'll burn them up, and I don't believe I can operate any of this stuff, or it'll burn them up, because this, this puts out a, like, different kind of power on the NAC. That's the only, that's the only downside to this panel. Uh, besides the buttons being very unresponsive, I do not like that. But um, for the seventy-five bucks, the guy like refunded me because the capacitor was uh, like broken. He like refunded me the full seventy-five dollars. So I, I basically got this panel for for free. I'm not complaining. Um, it's a it's it's a decent panel. It, it's some people have said it, it's a really good starter panel. Um, so far, I've like had no no problems for the for the few hours I've had it like hooked up. The the only thing that I'm like noticing is with these huge batteries plugged in, like when they're plugged in, um, I can tell that it's like putting a strain on the transformer because the the transformer is making a bit of a different noise. I'll put the microphone up to the transformer see if you guys can hear it. And then if I, it's so it's like kind of like going do 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 do. But if I unplug the batteries, it, it sounds steady. So I'm not sure what that's about. But like hopefully, um, like leaving those batteries plugged in and charging will not burn up the transformer. But if it does, we, we can easily replace it. Um, <clears throat> it's not a huge problem. So um, this, I've uh, still got it here for props, but it is not yet wired up to the panel because this panel does not have an auxiliary output um, like the 4004 did. So I'm not. I probably just gonna have to wire this into the NAC. I don't like want to do it that way, but that may be the only way I can do it to wire these LEDs like like right into the NAC. I'm probably gonna have to do it that way. But for now, those will not light up for this test. That is not plugged in yet. For the alarms, I've got like one of my Wheelock Exceder HSR horn strobes. Got uh, this may have been the same setup as the last test. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I got one of my Notifier MBD12 LO pull stations and my Simplex 4251-20. Um, this is a pretty. These two alarms here. This is probably a pretty common setup you'd see on this this type of system. This pull station and some kind of light, like Wheelock device. Um, I've got the dip switches on the panel set. Um, <clears throat> I've got um, I've got this on uh, temporal, and I've got the switches on the panel set to um, to Wheelock sync. 
that is the upside to this panel is is that this thing has a like built-in sync module for system sensor alarms, Gentex alarms, and Wheelock too. So basically, this panel can sync at, uh, like Commander threes. Oops, it, it can sync Commander threes. It can sync like Wheelock alarms. This this thing can sync like many different devices <clears throat> made by Wheelock, Gentex, or System Sensor. So that is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I've got the panel set on Wheelock Sync, and I've also got it on Selective Silence. Um, so even though this is a two-wire device, this thing will actually, it's got the audible uh, silence, so somehow it is, it's able to pulse the strobe on this thing after it's silenced without the horn. And it, it is pretty cool to see Selective Silence on an exceeder. That is pretty cool. The only other problem I have with this panel is the key lock. If I try to close it up here, it does not close. You would really have to wiggle it a lot and do it just just right to get it to close up. That's the only problem with, with that thing is the key lock. Uh, I believe this thing is from 2004. Um, this came out of a, a group home. So, yeah. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and test it out for you guys here. Um, again, that's coded to code 3. The panel's on continuous. Um, and we'll activate bo both of the pulse stations. The MBD12LO is on zone 1. The 48251-20 is on zone 2. So, uh, here we go. 3, 2, let's do it with this hand. That kind of looks weird. 3, 2, 1. Thank you. Yeah, and see, we, we got selective silence. That's really cool. Again, the other thing that bothers me about this panel is uh, the unresponsive buttons. And I've like noticed that on the videos of these things, these those buttons are very unresponsive. Probably just because of how it's built. It, like it, It's on all the panels. They're all like unresponsive, but I'm not sure why that is. But um, I'm just gonna have to get used to it, I suppose. Reset the pulse station. Come on. And very quickly, this has really this has already gotten long enough. Let's uh now I don't think with this panel I can reactivate the same zone. I'll I'll, I'll try that some other time, but for now I'm just gonna uh, key activate the 40, 42.51.20 for zone two. Huh. Oh, there we go. Come on. Thank you. Silence. There we go. So as you guys can see, like when I first activated it, it like kind of like gave me a surprise. The panel like chirps and everything. It it, it beeps, but it was about five seconds. <clears throat> it was about five seconds before that actually started sounding. And then like due to due, due to the panel's built-in sync, it like did a a like code four, and and then it like went into the code three. That's how sync um, like works on these panels. They all do that pretty much. So let's reset. So all in all, like not a bad panel. Um, I do like it. It's a it's, it's a different ex experience because I've always worked with the Simplex 4001, and I've like worked with two Simplex 4004s, but that's about it. So th th this is a bit of a, a different experience for for me to work on a on a Firelight panel, and uh, it is pretty cool overall. And I got the resistors on it. I actually bought these 
about a week before the last like Radio Shack in my town closed down, which is like really sad. This is probably the last pack of like Radio Shack resistors I'll be able to buy, just because they're they're closing down all all over the place. It's it's just a real shame. Um, but I I'll save that for some other video. So sorry for the the the, the long video here, but. There you guys go. There's your long-awaited 4,000, I'm sorry, MS2, <laughs> um, test 25, um, or floor system test 25. It's a new panel, so there you guys go. Thanks for watching.